Okay, so here's a quick bonus one. People actually use it subconsciously without even thinking about it. And I find myself falling victim to that as well. And that's the rule of thirds. What do I mean by rule of thirds? What does it mean? Well, it's super simple. If you have a book cover, you can separate it just like this. Sometimes, you know, when you open your iPhone or you open your Android or whatever you have, when you open the camera app, you can put grids. Those grids are separated into the rule of thirds. Now, what does the rule of thirds mean? If you separate everything like this, then what the rule of thirds says is the human eye looks at these corners more than anything else. They find these corners the most interesting. Why is that? Because your eyes always follow a Z shape when it comes to book covers. So if your eyes follow a Z shape like this, it starts here, second thing they see, third thing, and fourth thing. The reason it follows a Z is because that's how we read as well. If I give you a piece of text like this, how are you reading it? You're reading it like this. You're following this and you're coming back here and you're reading this. There's a Z. And you come back here and you read this. And you come back here and you read this. Just a bunch of Zs. So if that's how the human eye reads, that's how the human eye looks at design as well. Now, knowing this, you can use the rule of thirds to make a really, really, really good design. A really eye-pleasing design. So you can have information on these four points. So the human eye is going to look, it's going to start here, go here, go to the corner, and then go here which is why usually your author name is on the bottom of your book because it's the least important thing. If you can separate your book cover into the rule of thirds, you can actually place your main image or manipulate your main, your main image in a way where it's going to be super pleasing to the eye to look at using the rule of thirds. What do I mean by this? Well, let's just pretend we have a book about Romeo and Juliet. If we follow the rule of thirds, let's say we have Juliet here on a balcony and then Juliet is here with her long hair. I don't know if Juliet has long hair, but let's say she's on a balcony here. This is her hands. Great. And then Romeo is down here. Let's say he's kneeling down. Let's say this is Romeo. There we go. That's Romeo. So that's Romeo and that's Juliet. Let's say Romeo is placed a little bit over here. Let me just delete this. I say delete a lot, but I just mean erase. I don't even think it's erase. I think it's just wipe. I don't know. But let's say this is the book cover. Juliet's here. Romeo's here. We can have our author name right here. So this is the author name, whatever. And then we're going to have Romeo and Juliet. And then we're going to have a subtitle here as well. So does this book cover follow the rule of thirds? Well, if we separate this like this, just like the rule of thirds, this book cover follows the rule of thirds. Why is that? Because it starts here, which is the first point, which is Romeo and Juliet, the title. Then it goes on to Juliet. Now, once we see Juliet, we go down to the corner, which is Romeo or Romeo is nuts or whatever. Just ignore, just pretend this Romeo. And then from Romeo, we go a Z to the subtitle or the author name. How are you going to structure your book cover? So this book cover follows the rule of thirds. And it's not the boring old book cover where it's title, subtitle, main image, and then author name. That's the most boring way you can make a book cover. But with this, is there a sense of movement that we talked about before? Yes, because they're moving and they're interacting. We can also add a shape here in the background or something very subtly to show that these two are connected. You can go do a bunch of different things to see how you can make your book cover the most effective it can possibly be. But the rule of thirds, super powerful. If you can follow the rule of thirds, you can automatically make way more interesting book covers, way more attractive book covers, more visually pleasing to the eye. And that's exactly what you want so someone can click on your book cover.